Yeah. I live out in the country. Two kinds of guys where I'm from. Two kinds of guys. Guys who go hunting and guys who go hunting. <laughs> now, do you know the difference between hunting and hunting? Hunting is done for the good of the animals. You must kill some deer in the fall for to be enough food for the rest of the, in the winter. That's hunting. Hunting is a little different. Hunting involves liquor and flashlights. <laughs> if you've ever been on a two-lane county road and you see a sign with a bunch of bullet holes, that's hunting right there. It's so funny, you tell people you're a New Yorker, they assume it's New York City. I was working recently in Iowa, working in Iowa. I meet this guy, he goes, where are you from? And, well, I'm from New York. And he goes, oh, New York. I know all about you big city New Yorkers. Ross, have you ever been up in the Empire State Building? That's presumptuous. I'm in Iowa. I don't assume this is your tractor. <laughs> you know, one of the great things about coming from a small town is that you get to go to a big city for the first time. And it is overwhelming. My first time in Manhattan, I saw more people in one block that I would see in my hometown all year. <laughs> and some people could be so aggressive. An old woman, I'll never forget, an old woman scooted me out of the way on the street. She's coming by on the sidewalk, pushing me aside. Boy, 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 I'm your right. I'm on your right, boy. I'm on your right. And what I thought I heard, I've got a knife, boy. I've got a knife. <laughs> I'm running around. She's got a knife. What kind of a city is this? And do you know what happens, sir? Do you know what happens if you run around New York City and scream someone has a knife? Do you know what happens? Nothing. Nothing happens. They treated me like I was the problem. Of course she has a knife. We all have knives. Get over it. I'll stab you myself. Stab you in the face. He's a farmer. I found a farmer. Oh. I'm a... Uh, I'm at an interesting point in my life. I'm at an interesting point in my life. I'm starting to make noises when I do not want to make noises. If I do any kind of work around the house, I make two noises. I make one noise when I do the work, and then I make another noise about a second later, and it sounds like I'm thinking about the work that I just did. I'll show you, watch, you'll get it, watch this. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Everyone get it? Everyone get that? That's the joke. That's the whole joke. Two noises. Everything I do, two noises. I sit down. I come home at the end of the day. I sit in my chair at the end of the day. Ah. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Have you ever sat down, made a noise, and had people concerned about your well-being after you make the noise? Woo. Are you okay? Are you all? I'm fine. I got my butt all the way back. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I won't tell you, I won't tell you how old I am. It's actually bad luck in show business to reveal to an audience, reveal to an audience what your age is. I will tell you this. I recently purchased a bed, and the bed came with a 20-year warranty. As I paid for it, I was thinking to myself, this is my deathbed. <laughs> So I, uh, I went ahead and got a pillow top. I got a pillow top. I did. I got a pillow top. 